Hello guys, it's me MP back with another video. Today I will be doing a close battle analysis. This time it's Jack Cooper's bulky Megalodon vs Evo Incarnate's elongated Megalodon. Enjoy! So, first of all, let's start with size. Scaling from Jack Cooper's model we get about 20.3 meters and 127 tons using GHC-6. This makes it quite large. For comparison that dwarfs a modern-day great white shark. A weight of 127 tons comes from the fact a 15.9 meter megalodon would have weighed 61 tons, so doing simple square cube log it's 127 tons for a 20.3 meter individual. As for Evo Incarnate, she got her model at 24 meters long and 140 tons. This is pretty monstrously big. This actually makes her recon even larger than Jack Cooper's in both dimensions and mass. Just imagine the two clashing. In fact I will be presenting her reconstruction compared with a head canonic theodotin just to show off the bulk of that thing. Here is a size comparison I made of Evo Incarnate's Megalodon with Jack Cooper's Megalodon. Evo is 24 meters and 140 tons for her recon while Jack has 20.3 meters and 127 tons for his recon. So, even though Jack's Megalodon is decently smaller in dimensions, his reconstruction actually rivals Ebo's in weight quite well and is noticeably bulkier than hers. So, in terms of size we can see that Evo Incarnate's Megalodon is a little bit bigger than Jack Cooper's. Now, let us move on to physical strength. Even though Evo's Megalodon is larger, that does not actually mean it's physically stronger. Especially taking its noticeably less robust build into account it's definitely physically weaker if anything. Jack Cooper's reconstruction is noticeably more muscular, which means it's physically stronger. More muscles add more strength that provides more power to the body. This means it can pull or push heavier than how much Evo's Megalodon can pull or push. It would be quite relevant in raw combat where both would be using their bodies to aim for each other. So, in this one physical strength would go to Jack Cooper for the reasons I have discussed. Looks like this topic is a lot closer than what most people think at first glance. Now let's move on to combat speed. If we look at their corporal builds Evo Incarnate's Megalodon is noticeably skinnier than Jack Cooper's Megalodon. This makes it safe to assume that it would be faster in combat. Yes being bulkier doesn't automatically mean slower, but it is worth noting Evo's Megalodon is still muscular enough to where it can still move pretty quickly in combat. I do not think Jax has a bad combat speed, but I think Evo's might have a little better. So, Evo Incarnate's Megalodon reconstruction gets another point once again. Now let's move on to flexibility. Evo Incarnate's reconstruction gets flexibility for the same reasons I explained why it gets combat speed. It's simply a good bit skinnier and will be less stiff. Not like Jack Cooper's reconstruction will be stiff either, but Evo Incarnate's will be more flexible. So far, it looks like Evo's Meg is winning, but we are not done yet. We still have three more points to go over. Now even though Jack Cooper's reconstruction is a little bit smaller, by the virtue of being a lot bulkier it's more durable especially given how it's still similar in size to Evo Incarnate's reconstruction. It has more muscles protecting it and has a thicker skin, so it is safe to say not only is it physically stronger, but it is also definitely more durable. This is something that is quite significant in this battle. Jack Cooper's reconstruction finally gets another point in this battle. Now let's move on to attack potency. This one is pretty straightforward. Even though Jack Cooper's Megalodon is smaller, it still has better attack potency for the same reason it is physically stronger and more durable. It simply has so many muscles covering it, which means it would amplify its ramming power. The muscles in bulk would add so much energy to the ram and the force would be quite powerful. Now Evo Incarnates has less muscles and is skinnier. Now, while the ram will be quite powerful, it will still not be to the same extent as Jack Cooper's. Less muscles would downgrade its ram, therefore it would be quite powerful, but not as much as Jack Cooper's due to being more slender. Well, it looks like Jack Cooper's Megalodon finally gets another point again.
Now let's move on to Bike Force. It would definitely go to Jack Cooper's Megalodon. Even though it's smaller, as I discussed before it's noticeably more muscular. It would have more muscles in its jaws, making its bite force would powerful. Now Evo Incarnates would still have a pretty powerful bite force, but it would not be to the same extent as Jack Cooper's since its jaws would be less robust and less muscular than Jack Cooper's. As we can see Jack Cooper's Megalodon has actually won more points than Evo Incarnate's Megalodon despite being smaller. This is quite impressive. Evo Incarnate's has 3 points, while Jack Cooper's has 4 points. We can now go over how the fight will play and who wins. Spoilers, Jack Cooper's wins lol. This fight would actually be extremely close. I imagine he fight would mostly be them clashing by biting and ramming each other constantly. It would be a nasty bloodlusted fight. It's basically bulk and strength versus size and speed. But in the end I argue Jack Cooper's reconstructions wins extreme difficulty due to being physically stronger and just having more advantages. Sure, Evo Incarnate's reconstruction would overwhelm Jack Cooper's and cause a huge blood loss, but in the end Jack Cooper's wins. It could also end up in a tie where both end up killing each other. So, even though it could go either way really, I would give it to Jack Cooper's Megalodon Extreme Diff in about 52-55% to of the time. The fight was close, but in the end I think the other side just had to WN. Let me know your opinion in the comments down below. Anyways, that will wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed it since I spent so much effort into this and I have been planning it for almost a year, so if you wouldn't find please like and subscribe for more content. But with all that said, please have peace and a good day, people. Y manda al gran escuadro. El regalo don, se coma ese señor. El regalo don, se coma ese señor. El regalo don, se coma tu familia. El regalo don, que muere por dolor. El regalo don, se coma un vídeo beta. El regalo don, con euro con esto. El regalo don, se come un vegano. El regalo don, que salga coliflor. El regalo don.